Hi everybody, my name is Yusuf Rashid, and I'm going to talk about Python for image processing. So why to use Python for image processing? The comparable tool actually for uh, image processing uh, to Python is uh, MATLAB. However, MATLAB is uh, very expensive. Uh, MATLAB is effective for a uh, small project. So why not use Python? So Python is uh, open source. Uh, it is effective actually for uh, image processing and uh, can manage actually uh, uh, large projects. So I'm going to start with define actually the give a brief definition of uh, what is a, uh, image processing, and after I'm going to present some tools for image processing. Uh, so what is image processing? It's a process actually that takes uh, an image as output and outputs uh, another image, for example, enhanced image or uh, parameters of uh, structure in the image, for example, location of some target in the image, and the most uh, uh, important feature, features actually of image processing is segmentation. You extract feature from image, uh, filtering. You remove actually, uh, for example, noise from the image, and so on. So there are uh, so so Python on its own has uh, image libraries to do image processing, such as PAL, uh, CPI, and so on. And you can use some external libraries to do uh, image processing. Uh, Many C libraries, OpenCV, BTK, HTK, you can import some actually with in Python and after use them. Or if you have some some uh, parts of the algorithms that need high computations, you can implement it actually with C and after uh, combined with uh, uh, Python tools actually to build the software. So here, just basic example actually in image processing, we are going to rotate actually an image. So on the right, it's uh, my right actually, it's uh, Lizula, the new discovered monkey, and I want just to say it. So the import actually uh, from PAN image, it's, uh, it's the most important actually module of, uh, of this library. And after a line six, so we rotate the image and you see the results, it's quite uh, fast to do this operation. Here is a uh, second library, CPI, I use actually for edge detection. For, who, for those who are not familiar with image processing, uh, edge detection is one of the, it's probably the most important feature actually in image processing. You can use it for uh, segmentation, for image compression, uh, for image tracking actually. It is a large use actually of uh, this feature. So uh, if I import, in the first line actually I imported uh, CPI, and after in line, we cannot see the lines, but from line three, I in red actually, I used the convolve function actually to convolve the image with the kernel that allows actually to enhance uh, to enhance actually the, the edges. The edges are the transitions actually from one color to a second, and you can see the result. This you get actually in Python in five lines, but if you want to see and you want to implement it yourself, you need probably uh, 100, I would say 50, 100. So if you want to use external libraries such as OpenCV, it's actually very popular for image processing. So uh, so we can also import it actually within uh, uh, Python and use it. It is also open source. It has hundreds of algorithms for image processing. So here I just show a uh, basic example actually for uh, for so we have an Im image on the right and we want to shave it. So we want to remove actually the hair. So to do that, first you need actually to remove the hair, and once you remove the hair, you need to uh, you need to replace actually the pixels, uh, the, the the hair pixels with skin pixels. There's still some hair there. Hmm? There's still some hair there. Uh, small ones, yeah. It's not hundred percent perfect, but it removes all the hair that you really can see. So. And it's a remove around the, the, the more actually the more interested actually around what is this uh, black spot, and it's around, it's removed actually with, uh, 
high accuracy actually around the world. So first, I uh, do things about the edges I just showed. You can use actually to detect the hair because the, you have the skin, it's homogeneous actually. And the hair is create transition between color. And if you use uh, edge detection, you can actually detect this hair. And once you detect this hair, so how to replace this hair? And this you use actually OpenCV. OpenCV offer actually offers the function impacting. So basically you interpolate the, 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 the hairs that are removed, actually the pixels have, uh, that are removed with the neighboring pixels. And to use the, you do this actually with uh, inventing, and it's done actually to treat the whole image like 500, 500, and less than actually than 10 seconds, it depends on the system. So it's a quite very fast, actually, accurate algorithm. So uh, if you want to learn more about image processing, we just created a new uh, a meetup, actually, for the image processing uh, and computer vision group. And you are uh, you are welcome to join us. Uh, the first is from October 24th. Thank you.